everyone and welcome back to FX Express Trends. My name is JD and remember when I was like saying I was gonna do this whole bruises and cuts kind of makeup video thing? I'm doing it now. <laughs> it's probably too late but I'm doing it now anyways because I, I have to. So we're gonna do the video. Alright, I gotta prepare myself now because I'm gonna do full makeup because I am a potato with a sad little face. To start off, you pretty much don't need a base, but if you're sad about your face the way I am, then yes, put on a base. I'm gonna start with um, this pore eraser that I have by uh, Maybelline, the baby skin one. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit all over my face. I don't want it to be like apocalyptic, it's not supposed to be perfect. Everything is just going to be kind of done with my hands. My pores aren't too big, and I like to use a little bit. It just makes me feel less subconscious about the pores that I have on my face. Now I'm going to use the little bit that I have left of my CoverGirl True Blend. This is so sad. Like, I don't really care about showing the products too much, but I just kind of want to show you what I'm using for myself right now. I just use like whatever drugstore stuff that is available to me. So I'm going to put a little bit on this weird sponge thing. I don't get it. But I'm only going to put it on my trouble spots. So I'm going to put some underneath my eyes I think. I don't know if I should because I'm going to be doing kind of like, I'm going to be doing exactly what you saw in the teaser but onto my face. So I'm not sure exactly where I want to put everything on my face yet. Here is my base, kind of. Everything is a little bit lighter than I would have liked it, but I tried blending it out as much as I could. But because of my lighting situation right now, it kind of looks okay. So I'm just going to kind of go off of that. Now I'm going to start with like the actual little bloody areas and stuff. I'm going to go in with my Graftobian. I really love this stuff. Here's my little color wheel. I absolutely love this thing. I use it for like pretty much my everyday makeup. I especially love this red. So I'm going to go in and put some on my forehead and we're going to see how it works out. I like to make my blood wounds very like obvious and big so I'm going to blot it onto my forehead and I'm going to just spread it and put a nice thick dark layer of red so it looks a little more realistic. I'm not using any brushes because I like how messy this can be. I mean I can use brushes and I'll get like the same effect that I want if I do it is if I apply it on a certain way. But I'm just going to go in with my fingers and do this super casually. So there we go. Here is our big little spot here. <laughs> our big little spot. I don't I don't make sense at all. I've been very out of touch with everything lately. So here it is. I put some black. It looks like I put some black lipstick from this picture I have. But I'm going to go in with my trusty Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit. This is in the shade Late Night Done Right. I'm such a mess. I forgot I had my stipple sponge. And I'm going to use it now. And I can just kind of like make sure everything goes on super nicely. Ew, look how bloody that looks. Ew. <laughs> I kind of want to just leave it like that. I need to blend it. I need to blend it. I have to. So I have this purple on now and it looks really sick. I'm going to leave the base pretty open here. Um, I'm going to go back a bit and I'm going to just kind of fill in the rest because I don't want to leave any blank spots. I want it to look realistic as much as possible. Right now we're like in this weird stage where I kind of have to stop a bit. I'm going to put blood here eventually, but I want to put some black and spread it here, but not in the center really. So just kind of like the perimeter of that. I'm going to go in with my black eyeliner now, and I'm just going to kind of trace around the little circle where I want the blood to come from. 
and then I'm going to blend it with my finger. So we're done with the forehead now and I'm going to go and do my eye. So what I did for my eye is I went back with my Wet n Wild cat suit and I'm just going to put that underneath my eye. I don't really use this as a lipstick too much because I don't like the consistency and formula of it. So I, I like to use it for what I call detail work on most of my projects. I'm just going to fill it in here kind of like tears but it's just gonna be like another open wound and you can see because of the nice like grape color like it's super rich and blood like kind of so I, I love using it for this kind of stuff if it isn't too late I'm gonna try to line my waterline a bit so now I'm gonna add some more red just kind of along the sides and I'm going to go in with this purple on the color wheel to just add some more purple to our dry blood scene and then of course I'm gonna go back in with the liquid lipstick see if I can salvage any of the remaining pigment and make it a little more wet because that's what we want yeah, that's this eye. Next, we're going to do my lip here. I'm just going to take the remainder of the products that I have on my fingers and kind of smudge out the, the corners of my lips. Well, just this side. So that's going to be a bit of our base to kind of help me decide how I want to add the purple. So we're going to go in with more of the red and purple from the color wheel and just smear it out as much as we can until we get like this nice berry color. So now I'm just going to kind of get the corner of my lip and smudge the purple on. It doesn't have to be too clean or anything, I'm just going in. Now that our lip looks like it's been beat to death, I'm going to get my stipple sponge and I'm going to do one last pat. So now it's time for the last part. I'm gonna go in and black out this part of my eye just a little bit. The black doesn't have to be too intense, but it should look a little bruised here and there. So I'm gonna take the black from this Rimmel palette. Not that pigmented, so it's it's gonna be perfect for this look because it's not. We don't want it to look like extremely black. We just want it to look. A, we just want our face to look a little banged up. So even though it lacks pigment, it's going to help us with this nice charcoal-y grayish black color. I'm just kind of smearing the bottom of my eye and I'm extending it a bit. I think I'm also going to get my nose too because I like kind of doing contour like that. And then I'm going to blend it out. And there is the look. Look how crazy that is. I'm gonna go and fix up my hair a little bit so it looks a little better and I will be right back. Alright guys, here is the final look. I made my little butterflies droop a little and I kind of pushed back my flower a bit but here is the final look. Oh, my butterfly. <laughs> the butterflies. They flew away. Thank you, Miley Cyrus. Thank you. <laughs> um, here I am. And I'm, I'm really... I feel really good about this look. I'm finally done. I did this like five times. <laughs> like, maybe like once or twice off camera. And then th th three times trying to record this video all over again. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you're doing in quarantine. I'm really interested and I'm also really bored at home. So stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I
Oh my. Oh my. Oh no. Hello everyone and welcome back to FX Express Trends. <laughs> oh no. I'm being attacked by a fluffy boy. Say hi. You wanted to bother me, so you have to say hi to them. <laughs> say hi. Are you camera shy now? No, he can't be. Okay, um, I think I'm, I've been officially cancelled. But, um, oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. I like kisses.